This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets okay. up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Razor. Herbert Dean's in the building. Great, Here's the third man in the octagon Great. tonight. Great. Well, there is nothing quite like calling fights here in Rio de Janeiro. I'd imagine for the athletes, nothing quite like making that walk. Here we are back in Brazil once again. For the Brazilian athletes to see their colors being flown, to see the crowd going crazy every time. There were nights where Brazilian fighters could not lose. They have won 10 fights at times in this arena because they take so much energy. Oh, high kick. At what point do you adjust and see these head kicks land over the top? Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never doing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Fighting behind a nice jab. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. Piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, it looks like a cut has just opened up on his forehead now. Oh. Yeah. 
missed with that right hand. Unable to connect it. Lands a good series of kicks here. He's got that jab working nicely done. Under three minutes here to go in the round. That was a big check. Oh, another nice combination there. Not sure if it was the three-piece and a soda or what it was, but he is in a flow state here. Oh, he is moving and grooving tonight. He's feeling good. Look at the footwork. Look at the fainting of the shoulders. And then when he starts, right, he may not go right away. But when he goes, it's going to be an extended combination. Watch for him to try to really set down on the last punch to end this fight. Massive head kick. Oh. oh, he's in real trouble now. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Back to the jab now, no good. Circling towards the left now. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now it's he's hurt again. Oh, this could just about do it. Boom! Back to his feet. Oh, nice. What a kick that will land. Oh, a cut has just opened up on his forehead. That bears watching. Big knee there. Wow, what a head kick. Now we're going. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kick. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. All right, so that calf really starting to show signs of bruising. He's got to address it now. He's got to start to check these kicks. 20 seconds to go in round one. I love that one. I love when the guy throws a kick with that much power. Right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. Let's go back out there and look to finish him off. All right, back to the stools between rounds. That gives us time to look back at some of the replays, including some of those strikes that caused the damage, particularly to his forehead. Damage to the forehead. Expect a lot of blood. But when you look at him, he looks like he still wants to be in there. It does not seem like the blood is affecting him. Now, you could want to be there as much as you can, you want to. Ready to fight. But you got to do things Ready. better defensively. Or ultimately, he's going to get you out of here. He's got to move his head. He's got to stay out the center line. And he's got to press forward, put his opponent on his heels. All right. Well, all of a sudden, we got a new storyline in this one. The cut on his forehead. We will keep an eye on it as this next round gets underway. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus check. Third and back. with 
the Superman punch. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, nice oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right. Oh, 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 nice shot landed from the bottom. Making all these shots count. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other ones. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a sufficient or big ground and pound. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments. Holy smokes! He put him to Oh, he dove and he lands! Wow! Oh, another ground strike gets through. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after <laughs> Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by TKO! And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Razor! So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He successfully retains the title here tonight and does so by TKO. Nice embrace there with the head coach. This is a celebration that is going to continue all night long tonight. Not only did they defend the belt, but they get the style points they sought by virtue of that TKO. Congratulations to the and still 